Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Rachna Shanbag Moite, specializing in pediatric immunology, and today we shall be discussing yet another interesting immune deficiency. In the last few videos, we discussed about children presenting with low T cell counts and absent B cell counts having an underlying immune deficiency. But having very high neutrophil counts is it also an immune deficiency? Let us find out with an interesting case. We have here a 4 month old girl who presented to us with the chief complaints of non healing ulcers since 3 months of age. She had also suffered recurrent episodes of pneumonia. She was hospitalized and treated with IV antibiotics. However, the ulcers failed to heal. She had a significant history of delayed cord fall. When this girl presented to us, we saw that she was having huge ulcers present over her shoulder and even below her chin. This was very unusual. Since this child had been investigated on multiple occasions, we saw that on her complete blood counts, she had very high neutrophilic leukocytosis. Now one would think that any child presenting with infections and ulcers can have neutrophilic leukocytosis. You are right, but if you have a closer look, you will see that the counts are very high as i as 82500 and they are predominantly neutrophilic whenever we come across children who present to us with such high neutrophilic counts we must think of an underlying immune deficiency hence we performed a basic immunology screen however the immunoglobulin profile and the lymphocyte subsets were all within the normal limits so now we have a girl who has presented to us with history of recurrent ulcers history of delayed cord fall and also very high neutrophilic leukocytosis we did an cd18 expression assay what is cd18 it is the expression of adhesion molecules present on neutrophils and in this child the expression of cd18 was absent this confirmed the diagnosis of neutrophil adhesion defect before we move on to understand what is neutrophil adhesion defect we must know that whenever a microorganism enters our body the first response of the body is to produce large number of neutrophils these neutrophils reach the site of infection engulf the bacteria and kill it this is how the neutrophils help curb the infection but how do the neutrophils reach the site of infection this is by a sequence of events where the neutrophil rolls over the endothelium of the blood vessel adheres to it then extravasates and reaches the site of infection engulfs the bacteria that is phagocytosis of the bacteria and finally killing of the bacteria while the neutrophil rolls over the endothelium it uses the help of several adhesion molecules present on its surface such as the selectin and the integrin these adhesion molecules help them attach to the endothelium and reach the site of infection However imagine a condition if there was a defect in these adhesion molecules the neutrophils will be present in the blood but they will be unable to reach the site of infection and this is what is known as leukocyte adhesion defect it is an autosomal recessive in inheritance they present with history of delayed cord fall oomphalitis perianal ulcers recurrent pneumonia and diarrhea there is no pus formation as neutrophils are unable to reach the site of infection they often present with very high neutrophilic leukocytosis and these children need to be treated with antimicrobial prophylaxis and if they undergo a bone marrow transplant we are able to cure these children so the message here is that any child presenting with very high neutrophil counts one must think of a phagocytic defect in phagocytic defects they often present with non healing ulcers recurrent infections and they have history of delayed cord fall in such conditions one must think of a phagocytic defect such as the leukocyte adhesion defect hope this video was helpful and for more videos on immune deficiency kindly subscribe to my channel